Hi guys, so today I'll start the reviews on the Spellbinders uh, November 2020 craft kits uh, or craft club kits or club kits, I don't know how you want to call them, but if I have links in the description box, they will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. And normally how I start these is I start with the small die and then I go to the large die and then if I have the APG that month, I'll go to the APG and then I'll do the card kit. So I've already kind of gone through these with an unboxing the other day, but um, Really, uh, a lot of people want to see this little guy and a lot of people are really wanting to see... Well, actually, I got comments on everything. Um, this one here that has to do with some stitching, which I think is really pretty. You can stitch it. You don't have to stitch it. You can make it a part of your card. You can make it a standalone, like, little tree or a little snowflake. However you want to use these, you know. So really, really gorgeous set. And then the sleigh is just so cute. Um, so a lot of people had ideas um, using it in different ways. I mean, you can do it more playful. You can do it more elegant. You know, whatever you want. It has different... Um, uh, cut-ins even, I think. Oh, that's cool. What's up? I was just wondering why there's two different of those. I guess for the front and the back, because they're obviously, instead of flipping one, you have the opposite one. You know what I'm saying? To work out. Um, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so that's good. Um, and then the, cr the club kit, which is, um, a holiday-related, uh, set. But anyhow. So I'm gonna put this away. Uh, let's look at this little dude again before I pick out some colors and stuff. What do we got here? So, if you look on the back, it's going to tell you to... Oh, that's cute. I think I'm going to do what they're doing. <laughs> um, they're showing you how to make a kind of like a fun card here. So on the inside, you have the little guy. But I think to do that, I'm going to have to have two little dudes. And... Oh, no wonder. Okay, that's what it is. I was wondering why there's so many circles, but it's because this guy, he looks like he's facing up and he's smiling, and this guy has a little face forward, as you can see. So, yeah, so I'm just going to get, you know, um, basic color, white, red, you know, whatever scarf color you like, black for his little hat, stuff like that. Um, and we'll get started in the green and all that, so I will be right back. Okay. So... What I would do normally, if I'm just working on this myself, is I would cut everything out for both guys, but I'm trying to make it a little more um, simple. So let me grab these things. So we'll do one of the little dudes first, and then we'll do the one facing up. So we'll do this guy, and then we'll do that guy. Um, and all these pieces, we're just going to need small pieces of stuff. So let me put this to the side real quick. Oh, I didn't grab black for the hat. Okay, so... Yeah. So on this one, I'm going to put it on some black paper, but I'll do that in just a minute. I'll tape it down and cut that out. And then we need, well, let's talk about the little face, I guess, the little body. So we're doing that one little guy first. So the white with the little smiley. And then this guy, his body. And then uh, we need another, well, I'm going to use this guy's hat facing forward like this. But for the other guy, he just has that big black circle, which would be this one. Okay, so we're not using that quite yet. Um, I guess that's all the white I need. So I would just tape it down. And that's just for this one little guy. For the other guy, I need to still cut out the body again and then the other face. Okay, I'll put this on some black paper. And then, you know, they have red skis, so I'm going to follow with that just so that you guys can see what I'm doing. That kind of is the same there. So we have the red skis. And then his little cuff is going to be red on his gloves. And instead of making this little tiny, tiny thing for the cuff, they just did a whole glove and then you can put this over it. So that's really nice. So I'm going to use this one, the one that's like a full glove. And what else is red? Oh, the little sash. So this guy right here makes um, the little sash on his hat and it makes the um, his scarf. And I want to do the scarf light blue. So I'm just going to make this the sash on his head light on his hat light blue also. But if you want it red, then just cut it out again and get your red strip there. And his little carrot nose. Oh, right here. So the Oh, this is cute. Hold on. They have different noses. Yeah. There's two different noses you can select from and then it also cuts out his little twig arms. So I'm going to run this one through some orange, but I'm also going to run the little arms through some brown. So I have that in the orange and again, I'll just tape it and cut it down run it through. Um I think that's all this little guy needs. Oh, his little gloves themselves. The little topper for the glove. I'm going to use green, okay? So when I come back, I'm going to cut those pieces. 
and we'll start assembling the one little guy. So I have a lot of pieces here. This is for the one little guy. So let's start with, you know, simple things like putting together the little gloves. And again, we have a little piece that goes on top. We'll do that. He has very bright gloves. <laughs> Super cute. Okay, so I laid those up. Um, I don't know that we need a lot of layering on anything else. just want to see how his little face... Okay, I'm going to pop out these pieces. So again, that cuts out the sash that goes on his hat. So I'm going to put a little glue on here. Just easier, but just very little so I don't put too much. And get that little sash going. Right there. Cute. And if you want to make that typical red sash, you know, like I said, just cut that out of red too. I want to see how his little scarf is going to work out. If I put that there. And they did cut out the scarf in two different shades. It would be really cute. So they use a darker shade under here and then a lighter shade here. But I'm just doing it as one piece, um, one color, you know. But, uh, yeah, just put it down here like this. Or something. Let me see. <laughs> That's what it looks like. I just kind of want to see where his head should be. About how much of it needs to be down in here. Okay. So before I do that, because if I stick it really close there, just trying to see about how much of it needs to be under there. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take a little piece of black. Now, on the other guy, you're going to put the hat behind his head, so the black from the hat will show through his little um, mouth, his little smile. So that's good and good. But this one, I'm just going to make a little strip of paper, something to put behind his little head, just to cover that area. Let's see if this is good enough here. That's fine, but I'm going to have to cut out a little bit off of... Okay, something like that. And that's just to put the little darkness behind his eyes, but uh, do whatever you like. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry for a second before we really move on. And yeah, I'll be right. Well, no, one other thing. Okay, so we have that one and then behind his little buttons. <clears throat> a little strip of black paper. And then our other little guy will be constructed much in the same way, but let me just put this down here. Okay, I'll be right back. All right. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue just down this area, just because that's about where everything's going to be. And his head, you can angle it however you like, right? You want it to be a little more jaunty, a little more, however you want his little head to fit on there. That's up to you. And then I'm going to take this little guy right now and put that on there. And I'm putting it off a little bit to the sides. It's not perfectly like edge to edge, you know what I'm saying? It has a little bit of a bump there. So cute. And then this little guy is going to go in here somewhere, but again, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue and place that there. Cute. And then we need a little nose, and on this one he's going to have again, I'm just Barely putting a little glue and making sure this is on the right side. And we'll put his little nose wherever we feel like. So cute. 
something like that. And then our hat, again, as jaunty an angle as you like for your little hat or straight across, however you want to put that on. Oh my gosh, as you go layering, it's just like cuter and cuter, my goodness. Look at that. All right, and then we need his little stick arms. Okay, so what's cute about his little arms is that if you don't want to put um, mittens on him, he's he just has cute little arms, like they're like ready to go. Um, so, you know, depending on what you're doing with your scenery, I suppose, or what you want to do with him. And so I'm going to, I don't know if I should do this one last. Let's, let's stick the gloves to his little fingers, I think. And then, and then I'll stick those down. So again, if you don't want to wear gloves, don't put them. Because his little fingers are so cute. That's so funny. Just because the little, you know, that they're under there. Super, super cute. Okay. And I'm just going to put a little dab of glue. A little dab of glue. Again, place these wherever you like. I'm going to put that one there. I put this one here and then I just realized I forgot to cut his skis so I'll do the skis next but which is kind of a bummer because I don't have gray <laughs> I tell you I have to go look for gray paper oh you know what it might be in my year of craft there's some gray in there so I'm going to cut this right here out of some gray um paper because that's his little um I don't know what they're called because I'm not a skier what are they called sticks <laughs> I'll be right back Oh, I didn't think about it. I just thought about it after I got gray paper from my aircraft. I could have done it in silver. How cute would that be? Some silver paper. But, oh well. <laughs> Let me get these little guys out. My goodness. So cute. Dainty. Alright. Alright. And then these two guys, let's just get this. That, that way? Yeah, sure, okay. All right, I'm just gonna put glue on these <laughs> and then sit this guy on here somehow. So it's like this one should be a little bit further back like this. And, oh, they're a lot closer together. He's a little guy. And just sit him on here. Oh. Those are cute. I'm going to bring this one down a little bit. And with the perspective, you want this one to be out a little bit in the back. You see how this one's sticking out more than like this one. Okay. And now we have our little guys. Again, this glue dries clear, so I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> How cute. Okay. So I have him kind of having fun. He's like, ah! In this little picture, they have him straight down, you know. He's, he's doing the work. Okay, I'm going to cut all the pieces for the other guy, and I'll be right back. So the only difference with him is that we're using... Um, this face and this for his hat. So the hat's just a black circle. And then this face. So, same body, you know, all that kind of stuff. So same body, this for his hat. We still need the same skis, the same gloves, you know. I already have his nose cut out from the first time, so I just need to cut that out, uh, that same little piece to get his little arms. But the nose is here from that other uh, the first batch, and then, you know, the sash and all those little things for his gloves, and I'll be right back. Get all these little parts cut out here. And on this one... Okay. See how the little holes are cut out? And then this is, like, his little hat, like he's looking up. So, the little black is basically in there already for us. Okay. So, I'm going to put this on here. So cute. 
And then he has his little nose just sticking up here. So I'm just putting it in glue. And the little nose, like I said, it got cut out the first time with everything else that cut out from the orange. <clears throat> so funny. Okay. I'm gonna make my little black strip and stick it on the back of this okay, and I'll be right back. See, before I really stick this down, they want it on top of here. So I just peel that back up, which isn't my favorite thing to do, but that's just what happened. So I'm gonna put this in here. So basically put the little white circle and then put his hat on the back of that is what they want you to do here. Okay. Hold that down. And I'm just put the glue for his scarf. So cute. Let's put that there. And there. Okay, so cute. Uh, I'm gonna match up the gloves. I did the green base this time with the red top, so I'm gonna match those up and glue those down like we did before. And um, and then just you know stick them to the little hands like we did, so we'll have that going and I'll be right okay, back. Nice little buddy, he just has his little skis sticking out. Oh, I guess I should've put his arms on. <laughs> but uh, it's the same as before. His little skis are gonna be heading out this way. So I'm gonna glue these onto the back just like this. My kids are up because we gotta get going to school. So I'm gonna glue them on just like that. So he looks like he's skiing or like from the front view, see? And then maybe a little further in. I'll glue his little arms on and glue his little sticks on his arms just like we did earlier in his hands, okay? I'll be right back. Okay guys, we have our little guys here. Super cute. Now, um, it, I'm assuming it's a standard A2 size card doesn't really say so, but that's what it looks like. I mean, I don't see why it'd be any different. So we are going to do our card base now. I know I started off with the little guys, but so, um, so I have a piece of pearlescent card. So I thought that would be cute. And it is cut at your standard A2 size. So five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm going to score it at four and oopsie, four and a quarter. <laughs> I was almost in the wrong spot there. And then, um, okay. And then it says to cut a piece of paper nine inches wide. It does not tell you how tall it should be. So hopefully you see that. So I did cut this piece and I cut it at three and a half inches. Three, yeah, three and a half inches. Just to give me some room to play. I don't really know, but by nine inches, just like it says here. And we're gonna score it at two and a half, four and a quarter, six and a quarter. So two and a half. Four and a quarter and six and a quarter. Six and a quarter. Okay, and then you're supposed to cut like a slope from this. So um, I'm just gonna take some scissors here. And I just did it a little bit roughly, but I really don't know what I want to do. So I'm just gonna go from in here and just cut it up towards that top corner. And I made it kind of smooth so this is going to obviously fold forward towards you i don't know why they said to make this nine inches <laughs> so um i might trim off that extra half an inch because it doesn't really make sense but i mean it kind of works out i don't know we'll see <clears throat> excuse me and this is going to go in here so it might just be that that extra nine yeah maybe you just need that little bit extra but see when i close it i feel like that sticks out so what I'm gonna do is trim that away if I don't need it. But for now, because if I really stick this down, I just wanna, yeah, it wants to move out. So I'm gonna let it do that, just to make the adjustments, you know, like this little piece that wants to move out. I'm gonna trim it off. Now, normally I would bring out like my cutting tool to do this, but just gonna do that, just so that I know it'll stay. Yeah, that's better. Okay, um, and I'm gonna use a wet uh, dry glue because I want it to stick quickly. And then we have other things that we're gonna decorate here, so let me. Uh, 
Oh, I did mention the other day. Oh, interesting. I just ran out. Did I run out? Hold on. No. <laughs> I can't tell if it ran out or not. This stuff is so good, you guys, but I only have one, so I want to preserve it. Uh, I'm going to order some more. It came in the uh, craft kit, but this Nuvo adhesive is really great. So, uh, just to let you know. So, I'm going to put this down here and stick that down. Again, if you're using a wet glue, it's going to move a little bit on you. So just um, when you go to close it up, just keep massaging it. No, you're going to have to hold it. And with this, it's going to stick immediately. So that's a nice thing to do. Again, if you had a wet glue, I would stick the one side, put the other side, and then go ahead and close it and see what happens. If it moves at all, then you can trim it off. Okay, but I already kind of took care of that. If this was a dry glue and you it was going to move when I go to do this, this is going to get all crunched up because it's not going to move here. So it's going to want to displace that extra half an inch that they asked for in here somewhere. So when you go to close it, it's going to like bend in a weird way. So just a little tip. I don't know if that hopefully that made sense. <laughs> okay, so we have the inside done. And on the outside, they did some cute stuff. I, you know, I we could have run this through an embossing folder. What they did was they used... Um, uh, the foiling system and then these are just pieces of paper that were left over after I cut this down and so all I did was cut them at four and a quarter inches wide so these are both four and a quarter inches wide they're super tall obviously we don't need this much but what you want to do is come in here and make it look like a cute little snow bank that one might be too high actually maybe that's the second one I'll use maybe I'll use that one on this side it's a little bit low there and then this one can be a little bit lower. So they're both four and a quarter. Apparently, you know, obviously I wasted a lot of paper. I just didn't know how tall they should be to look right, so I just didn't want to mess with that. Um, I might bring this one up a little bit. Because you're not going to be able to see it down there anyway. Oh, it looks a little bit too straight. Let's see. I'm going to do that again. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how to make it look more rounded, is what I want. I want it to be a little more round, so this one probably needs to be trimmed down a little bit. No, that's better. So I just wanted to have a little more round, it looked really straight there. So there's that, and that's going to set up that front part. I'm going to stick these down also with just a quick dry adhesive. Across the bottom here before I really push it down I just want to make sure it's nice and straight looks cute just with even one little lump here and then this guy and then we're gonna make our little trees and other things to decorate on the inside um, of course whatever you want to put on the outside too oh my gosh he's gonna be so adorable let me show you real quick what I mean because I can see already I think that shininess adds a lot. We could have built him up all shiny too, I suppose. And then this little guy's gonna be on here in the front. <laughs> so cute. And then they put a little sentiment up here, which I can grab maybe from one of my kits or something, just something quick and easy we can put on there. So basically he's gonna be on here. I guess I could stick him down now. Well, what if I wanna pop dot him? I'll leave him alone for now. I'm not sure what I wanna do. So on the inside here, they say just decorate however you like. So I'm gonna cut out the little tree. So what we're gonna need is, um, well, let's do the tree first and then we'll do the sign. So I'm going to grab some greens and craft cardstock. And then I like the little red um, embellishments. You can come out with lots of different colors. And then they have a little yellow topper. So the topper is here. I'm not sure what that little bolita is. Oh, that's probably for the North Pole. Yeah. So that's cute because look, the North Pole sign has like a little yellow topper. And then they did the yellow star. So anyway, you can use whatever color you want. But so I'm going to do that. Ooh, out of yellow. This out of craft cardstock. This, um, so, okay, let's do the tree, but the tree, this goes with the, um, with the little sign, but if you also want your tree to have little, um, snow underneath him, this is going to come out, come out of that. So, you know, I'll probably trim this out of sparkly stuff too, the sparkly white or shimmering white. Uh, let's just talk about the whole thing. So the North Pole, I'm going to cut this out of whatever color I feel like. And this cute little post is what goes under the North Pole. Yeah. So I'll probably cut it out of red just to make that pop. And then all our green leaves. So I'm going to do this green. Pick out some green color that I like. And then some little extra leaves. I'm going to cut out just a ton of these to make a really, really cute tree. So um, 
I'm gonna do one of those, maybe a couple, I don't know, it depends on what that looks like. And then I'm gonna do a ton of these on green paper. And I think that, oh, the little um, ornaments are cut from here. So whatever colors you wanna use for your little ornaments, you can cut this guy. Okay, okay. I'll I know it looks like a lot of little things here, but um, I'm just gonna pop out the rest of my little tree parts. So what I do is I run through the tree in a light green that I already used, like a brighter green, and then I run it through with a darker green. Very delicate, so cute. And so let's pop these little pieces out. Hopefully that's not stuck down too much by the tape there. Okay. Um, so let's build up our little tree and then we'll get into the post. And then I think I need my little tree topper here. Ooh, I decided to use um, a gold, um, shiny, shiny gold paper there for that. Okay, so you can do this however you like, of course, and if you want to do like something more artsy, you can make your little tree out of white paper and color it, or however you want to do it to make it fun. Um, do whatever you like. But I'm going to put glue on this, and I think I'm going to layer starting with the dark green color. And then that's the dark green there. And then layer over some of the light green one. I'm kind of offsetting it so we can make it look a little more full, right? How cute. Okay. Um, and if you need to keep adding glue, go ahead or however you want to do it. Because I did rub my fingers over that. <laughs> and now I'm going to take a bunch of these little guys. So again, I'm just going to mix like light and dark little guys in here. I put that one a little bit closer to the center. You know, I'm coming up the little wood stick there. And if we need more glue, I'll just add it here. You can add it to the little guy if you want. Let me move that over just a little bit. Hold on, buddy. Where are you going? There we go. All right. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put glue all over this and kind of stick it to that better. <laughs> Still trying to layer some of the different colors. Just put them in there. Nope, oh, left backwards. So cute. And then I'm kind of layering them side to side too. So if I had the dark green over there, I'm gonna put the dark green on this side this time. I'll put the light one on this side. And again, my glue dries clear, so I'm not worried about that. Super cute, you can fluff it up when you're done or add more. And we'll put our little topper. <laughs> so cute, it has a little stick on it. All right. oh, that'd be cute to make this into like a Charlie Brown tree. Adorable. Okay, and then I have all these little red dots that again, I'm just gonna put glue wherever I feel like and then put them on there that way. That one's backwards. And then if you want to use like shimmering papers, I think that'd be really cute too. Let me get this, get some fresh tackiness on here. There we go. So I'm just gonna go through and just stick these down all over and I'll be back. So I have these little white dots and you know, I think they came from the snowman. I was like, oh, it was kind of cute if you put those in here too, right? Maybe I'll use them. They're just chilling here from, from when they popped out of the little snowman. Why not? <laughs> just add a little something else. There's so much you can do with this, you guys. And I think it'd be really cute too. Oh, <laughs> there's already one on there. I'm like, why isn't this picking up? Um, if we did like, so I just had a little bit of white in there. Um, what's that called? The longer the um, slimline card, just do a whole a scenery on the front. So what I'm gonna do to back this is just stick this to a piece of paper like this. And I think I'm gonna stick it down first and then just trim away the excess. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the little white post. And we do have a blue background with the uh, snow, like the background of this is blue. So I think that'll help it pop a little bit. And so I'm putting it right down the edge of this piece of paper so I don't have to cut this bottom edge and I'll just cut this back piece off. 
And you can trim it down like I did before first if you want. And then I'm also going to do the same thing with the little red post. Now, Spellbinders is very much into paper piecing back into the thing. So they probably run this through and then put the and a white paper and then put the little white pieces back in there, but that's not my favorite thing to do. So I'm going to just glue them on here and then trim it out. Okay, so I'm going to wait for these to dry up and then just trim it off. And I will be back and then we'll assemble our little card. All right, so we have this little guy. I'm going to put this little top piece on. And put that on there. So cute. I know things like this can be a little fiddly, you know, with the little pieces, but I mean, look at that. It just adds so much. And then, oh, before I go to this, I'm going to, we have a little snow that we can add here. It's this little strip here. And just place it right on there. A little North Pole. So cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then this can go on here. If you want to put it straight, if you want to put it crooked, however you think it'd be cute. So something like that. Look at that. That's <laughs> so adorable. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then we were going to place this wherever we want over here somewhere, and then that's why you have your little snow patch too. So you can put the little snow. Um, it does have a little opening in it, so it depends on how you want to do it. If you want to tuck this in here or just leave it like that or actually tuck it into that little that little cut to make it look a little more real. That is so adorable. And, you know, put it as high or as low as you want. Put it wherever you want. I think I'm gonna put them like in here. That'd be cute, because it kind of gives that differentiation there. So I'm gonna put the glue here. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the stick too. Hopefully that'll help me hold that down. Cute. Let me pull that up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna hold this down for a second until it's nice and stuck, especially because this is a slippery medium here, so it takes a little while for it to dry, but I'll be back. Okay, we're gonna stick down our little tree again. I just tucked that back in there. Put that glue on there. And I'll stick this down more than anything else. I probably should have eyeballed where I was gonna put it first. <laughs> right down in here is cute. Okay, I'm gonna hold that down and let that set up and I'll be back. Okay, last thing we do is stick down our little guy in the in here. Now he's kind of, you when you close this, you don't want things in the way. If you put it up here, obviously his little arm's gonna get crushed. So just kind of pay attention to where that would be. And so I think it's just his little buns area that's gonna be able to hold on. And then his little hand. So I'm gonna put it as much as I can into that corner. Maybe even stick up a little bit like that. when it closes. Oh, his little hand sticks out. <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to be that way. Let me tuck him in just a little bit more. Then he's going to really be going downhill. There we go. Again, we got to test it out, guys. I'm going to clean that up with a pile of a little wet towel or something because I put glue all over this thing. But since the paper is nice and sturdy, it shouldn't affect anything. Still sticks out. Oh my goodness. Let me figure out what I want to do about that. Maybe I should put him over here. Boop, boop, boop. Nope. He shouldn't be going up. That's the only problem. He's really going to be going downhill, guys. <laughs> Hold on. That's probably why they put his little arms down. Let me see where his arms on this one. They're a little more... I might have to readjust his arms. Okay, let's do this again. And let's take his little arms off. Carefully, carefully, carefully. I'm going to take these off, you guys, and I'm going to readjust them so that they're kind of more in a down position, okay? I'll be right back. Okay. So that's what it is. Sorry. Um, so, you know, earlier I had his arms way out, so what I had to do is bring them in much closer and up higher towards, like, his little scarf, okay? Again, you can measure this out. I can probably bring him out a little further, but for now we're just going to keep him nice and concise, nice and tight. All right, let's do this again. And put some glue on his little booty. And he's going to be back in here as far in as I can tuck him in. You can put him a little bit higher, however high or low you want to put him on here, but 
he needs to be that's much better <laughs> all right figured it out so when you're constructing the little guy from the inside just make sure he's not splayed out so much as i had him this is so cute you guys oh what a sweetie okay and this one i wanted to pop him up so what i'm gonna do is I'll just use some this stuff. If you don't want to pop him up, don't do it. I mean, he has very delicate little skis that maybe you want to just go ahead and flatten him out. But um, I'm still going to put a little a little something on him here. And he can go right in here somewhere. And let me go get some kind of uh, sentiment that I think would be good for this little guy. And I'll be right back. I just went through this month's, month's cra uh, card kit. I was like craft card kit, but I guess either way. Um, there's some really cute things in here. I think last month is a little more juvenile, so you probably find something in there that would give you a little something. But I just want to top this off. So we're going to use this Merry Christmas, I think. It's cute. So I'll just add a little, um, again, the same 3D glue gel on the back of this just to make it pop a little bit. And I'll add that there. So that's it. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope that gave you some nice tips on how to use this. Really cute. Again, you don't have to build up this whole thing. I just wanted to do what they showed because I thought that was really cute. But, um, you know, do what you like and mix and match it up and do all the, all the little fun things that you can come up with there. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll have the links in the description box. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.